Sup YouTube Constant Gamer here, and today we are playing more Ice Age Scrat's Nutty Adventure. I think I just called the game Scrat in, in the last one. Um, but yes, we are doing more Scrat's Nutty Adventure. This game is so good. I'm not even joking. Like, I'm literally recording all these episodes one after another because I actually just enjoy playing this game. Uh, the bonus episode, however, probably won't be recorded same day as these, sadly. That episode will be probably recorded, like, I don't know, maybe, like, a couple days later. Well, knowing me, I'll say I'll record it, like, a day later. But then, like, in actuality, it'll probably be about, like, a week. <laughs> I'll probably be, like, too busy editing and doing other shit that I'll just, like, literally forget about this game for, like, a week. And go back to it. Or I'll, wa or I'll see my own videos and then be like, hey, wait, did I ever finish that? Or did I ever do the bonus episode? And then I'll see that I didn't, and then I'll be like, oh, I should probably go do that, and then I'll do it. And then probably edit it the same day, but then I'll do it the next day from that point. So, there you go. I basically taught you exactly how I run my channel, which is very poorly. But it's fine, it's fine. It should. See, I should do. I, I, I've, I've had this thought. Uh, alright, okay. For some reason in this area, um, my voice sounded more echoey in the headset, which is, I don't hear my voice back in the headset, but like, you know what I mean, like, being in that area where the noise echoed in game, it sounded like the, the reverb carried over in real life, so it sounded like my, my room was more like reverberated than it was, which is weird as hell, but anyway, you, you guys have probably had that effect happen to you at some point, and you're like, whoa, that is weird, if I know what you're talking about, like that shit. Um, anyway, what was I talking about? Ah, I forgot. Oh, yeah. Something like, uh, the, how you, how one of these days I should make a bunch of episodes for, like, different games. These should be one-off episodes, of course. Because the way I would do them would be a one-off as well. Which is doing them in that, like, Meat Canyon-esque voice of, yeah, Ooh, yeah. Or, like, Meat Canyon, Anime Girl, like, doing another ASMR or something. Which it ain't hard to make an ASMR. It's just I don't have those expensive ass mic. You know those microphones they use are like $3,000 or some shit? They are, like, expensive. But, so, your boy's doing it the cheapest way possible, which is, what I'm gonna do is I, I write the script, right? And then after I write the script, I take the, um, I just kind of, I'll do one of two things. I'll either take the audio, record it all in once, and take, hey, cool, that was a little shorter. Uh, heart to heart. Oh, cool. So I've maxed out my health. And I've gotten all the shards. So I guess that's why they wanted you to get 5,000 to get max health. So I guess since there is a max health, then that technically means other, that that would be added to 100%. I need to stop getting gems. I don't need to. But basically, uh, yeah, do shit like talking to Meat Canyon boys. Um, or the meat. Okay. Oh. It's better to let sleeping wolves lie. Sneak past them. Don't wake them up. <sighs> it's fine. Actually, wait. Is it a challenge to get killed by wolves? If I get a trophy for it, it was worth it. And I haven't gotten a trophy for it, so it's not worth it. Also, I couldn't kill it, so... Well, I'm wondering, though. Can I throw something at it? Can I, like, stun it? Yeah, okay, that does nothing. It actually killed me again. I want to stop that shit. Because most likely there's a trophy or something. Hopefully all I have to do is hold this button. Hopefully it's not like sound specific or something. Like some Breath of Wild type shit. <laughs> Just hear me spam the R1. That was fucking sick. 
That's not what I wanted to do at all, but that was cool. Every single time. I wish I would stop getting stuck on the wall and shit like that. Like it just advanced to the game like a normal person. Actually, kind of go. This game actually has some challenge to it. That's cool. This game's got some challenge when it comes to platform, and I respect. Okay, how he didn't notice me, I'll never know. Because he definitely should have. This is one of those things where I somehow did it so fast the AI didn't have time to register me. That could have been it. Scratizen Caverns. I think the lava area is gonna be the last one. The way this is going. I'm stupid. I might be stupid. I think I already defeated the boss for this area, I think. I think that's what those fish were. I think they were the bosses for this area. So I think I'm right. I don't think they can jump, so I'm just gonna keep going. So I guess whenever I guess the most I learned from this game is if I get stuck against a wall to just round pound, I can clip right through it. that the only thing I can't do with these little crystal rock things here that I'm holding is the only thing I don't think I can do with them is um well jump that seems to be the only thing that I probably can't do with them of course like I said there have to try but I imagine I can't do it with them My god, is it easy? On your journey. The Scratizens? I I don't think I've ran into any of them. I feel like these guys are basically the scrap versions of the precursors. This is literally a Jack and Daxter game. Now I know some OCD people in my comments are gonna be mad about the way I'm playing this game now since I got all 5,000 for the health upgrade plus the, in the main menu stuff, but like, come on. Were you really gonna sit and watch me for four episodes, uh, technically five if you count the bonus, playing this game. The bonus episode, I, I swear, is probably only gonna be like five minutes. That's unless there's this long ass, like, like this long ass cutscene that plays for uh, beating the game, like 100%. If there's something for that, then you know, well then. But otherwise. I don't even need these popcorn now. 
I'm sitting there looking around for a third crystal. It's like, I don't even need them. And knowing is half the... And then I can't read the rest because it's like turned off. Like, I mean, like, the trophy thing cut it off because the name of the trophy is too big. Imagine if trophies, when you earn them, they show the description on the screen. So it's like, like, because the, the ones for Street Fighter V are so damn, I think it's the plat, it's either the platinum or it's the trophies. I think it might be the platinum for it. It's this like, two paragraphs or some shit for the, ex for like, it's trophies description. Oh my god, it sucks to read. The crystal mine, oh, that's fucking cool looking. The hidden world is full of life, but that doesn't mean that they are friendly. Oh, boss fight? Question mark? Trails are to shit over there. There's gonna be like a like 30 fucking locked doors that's gonna make me do though. They're all gonna be the same door. I hate the doors. I hate the locked door shit. And the only reason I hate it, I already it but the only reason I hate the door locking stuff is just because to me it's kind of boring. Because it's always this like it's always the same where it's just like the door key is hidden somewhere in the room. Which, you know, where else would you hide it? But it's the fact of like, I don't know. It's it's there's nothing interesting about it that's basically what we're going across. Like it, it could be so much more interesting than it is. Yeah, you literally gain speed. You, you gain speed when you jump it. It's actually kind of dope. This game is really cool. Like, adding all this lore to a game that doesn't need it. Imagine if this is the actual lore of the game, though. Or this is the actual lore of the of Ice Age. Like, everything you're s it's it's like the ice age movies we know are the background characters so it's basically watching the movie from the background characters perspectives when this is the actual main character and of course the only time you play some main characters in a video game oh secret cat tiggies Kitty. Fuck. <laughs> what did you want me to do with that? It didn't tell me to press triangle again because it wants me to land on that platform. That's kind of specific. Oh, well, you just barely land on that platform if you're if you're good enough. Still never figured out how to get these gems, so that's cool. Maybe I'll figure it out right here. Who knows? Shivering slalom? Slalom? Shalom, brother. His hand was clicking to his other hand. He's so technically already had the move, so. Is there a way to speed up? Okay, this one is just dodging because I can't jump or anything. Not what I was gonna wanna do, but it's fine. This is really like 
weapons for no reason. This is like... I don't know, this is intense as This sliding shit reminds me of Crash Insanity. There's a lot of like, crystal maze. But this is a there's a lot of like inspirations from other games, clearly. Like the hub world thing is Spyro. The the um, demonstration for your new ability is um, Dishonored. The gameplay is, is Jack and Daxter uh, with like the moves you do. The sliding thing is from Twin Sanity. So it's like, you know, there's, there's just a lot of inspiration from other games that are really good. So this, this one, if you take away the fact that it's literally about the the fucking squirrel from Ice Age. If you take away that part, this game is so good. <laughs> you think about okay, now finally I get the gem thing where I can break the gems, I guess. Break those boxes or whatever. Get the gem. Get the gem and the acorn. Wait, the third crystal nut? That is impossible. I mean, that is incredible. Your reward is the power of telekinesis. You can move scratches and blocks to reach new heights and uncover secret paths. Alright. I dare you. The squirrel from Ice Age has telekinesis, guys. Oh. I'm a dumbass. I didn't even have to put it in a specific spot. I just had to bring it near the area. I literally wasted my time correcting that for no reason. I don't need that second one. Oh, I do. <laughs> Barely, though. That's good enough. Dude, I can't wait to tell, like, Ethan about- and Ethan and, and, and friends about this game because, like, my god, dude. This game actually exists. And the fact that there's- like, trying to explain this game to them is gonna sound like a fucking fever dream. Like, think about it. I'm gonna be sitting there and I'm like, oh, wow. This... So, it's a game where you play Scrat, um, from Ice Age, and you get the ability to, like, double jump, you know, so in video games. You get, uh, the ability to catapult yourself. Um, you also, you know, uh, can get telekinesis. <laughs> I'm afraid the next one's literally, like, I have a feeling the next one is literally just going to be, you get the power to fucking end the game. <laughs> that's, that's, that's the next ability. It's just, you, you can spawn in the credits. The final crystal nut is hidden in a dangerous jungle. You will need to use everything you have learned so far to succeed. Nah. I don't want to. I think I might end up going to sleep here in a minute, so I'm just gonna I'm gonna end this episode here anyway, but like I, I think I'll wait till tomorrow to record the next one. So but thank you guys so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Later!